Hello, listeners of Animal Chronicles, and uh, we're back with uh, Oliver Tan. Um, we're talking about doggy daycare, and before we went on the break, I said, "What's the what's the future for doggy daycares, and what are the trends that we see?" And he was telling an interesting story during the break. Uh, what are some of the new products that are being, you know, at Oliver? What, what are the things? Um, that there was an offer that, uh, like. For humans, there's hand sanitizers. Mm -hmm. Now, there are home sanitizers. <laughs> so you use that whenever uh, your dog goes, uh, like after a walk, mm -hmm. you put that on their paws too. You know, it makes sense. Uh, I mean, you go everywhere and if you'd like to to keep them clean and not pick up any of the dirt and disease, then you know, there's a market for that. Right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, they thought about the product and <laughs> Hopefully, uh, Is it know. selling well, that product? Uh, it's still new. It's still <laughs> new. <laughs> it's still new. So uh, I'm not sure if it will kick off, but uh, there's a product like that already. Mm -hmm. And then when we do see the doggy daycare uh, centers are also, now there are a lot na, and they're also offering training for dogs. Does Pooch Park have that? Uh, well? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, Pooch Park, whenever you leave your dog with us, uh, we can have your dog train. Uh, for example, if you want your dog to be trained uh, basic obedience uh, commands, mm -hmm. we can do it. Mm -hmm. um, but can that happen in a few hours? Be no, no. Like, or uh, because the basis? session is only 30 minutes. No. So mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, squeeze that in whenever uh, you want the, your dog to be left like an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, but we for example, if you leave your dogs with us, we don't uh, train it immediately. Uh -huh. We uh, let the dogs calm down first mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we have to somehow create a bond and mm -hmm. have your dog trust us first. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to walk your dog, uh, do this uh, pack thing, mm -hmm. and then uh, we train your dog. Mm -hmm. and, uh, although it's best uh, if it's the owner that does the training yes. or uh, the basics on training. Yes, uh, for example, uh, those who enroll for training with us, uh, we suggest that the owners will be present during the training mm -hmm. because we have to, actually we have to teach the owner mm -hmm. how to train. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easier to teach the dog oh. at the runs. <laughs> it's yeah. harder to teach the, the owner, the owner. Mm -hmm. um, because some owners tend to spoil their dogs, you know, uh, you do need to make it happen. Yeah, um, and then um, people forget that training is integral, really, for um, you know, for pet ownership, especially dogs. Because dogs are thinking, uh, they really need their minds to be working. And before the old concept for pet ownership was just like, oh, give the dog food, give the dog water, tie it to the gate, you know, and, and but but really, uh, responsible pet ownership is giving your dog. Stimulation, mental exercise. exercise, yes. And um, does this how, how does Pooch Park really make more people aware? Or do you have like flyers, or your your staff is also trained to? Yes, uh, our staff is trained to uh, explain to the customers the importance of exercise, mm -hmm. the importance of training, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, you can see the difference of a spoiled, untrained dog mm -hmm. and. Uh, Train dog. Mm -hmm. uh, the train dog is more balanced. Uh, whenever the dog goes in our store, uh, it's not aggressive or insecure. Mm -hmm. It's curious. It knows how to smell and uh, uh, explore the store. Mm -hmm. But the untrained one and those who are spoiled just clings on to the owner. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you uh, approach the owner, the dog will become possessive of the owner and then starts to bark or try to bite. Oh, but sometimes it's because pe people tend to baby the dog is too much and the dog doesn't know like there should be a back leader. Yes. And, you know, I don't I watch Caesar. Caesar Bella. Bella, yeah. uh, <laughs> so there are a lot of yeah. problems in you know? again. So I'm glad you know that the daycare center that you thought years ago thought of years ago is now actually a booming industry of doggy daycare. Um, it's it's good for for animal welfare in a sense that maybe it's an indication that there are more responsible pet owners 
but at the same time, it's a challenge because now you have a lot of competitors in the business. Yes, uh, that's very true. Um, there are lots of uh, establishments that are offering daycare uh, services right now. Uh, well, uh, for the customers, yeah. the only tip that I can uh, yeah. give is that check if the establishment has is credible mm -hmm. and is trustworthy. Mm -hmm. uh, because you're going to leave your pet there. Mm -hmm. So there there should be trust involved and credibility. And if the establishment is experienced enough to handle uh, situations, especially emergency cases. Mm -hmm. Because we are not, uh, it's an emergency, it's not planned. Mm -hmm. So is the establishment trained enough or has the capability to handle emergency cases? So, um, what if, uh, how do they know about this? By word of mouth? Usually by word of mouth, or you can uh, talk to the staff, mm -hmm. uh, you know, do research on the establishment. Um, there's internet, there's uh, your, like, your pet lover friends, you know. Uh, these are uh, nice references. Uh, mostly good, good, uh, no, no. Like um, good experience with you, turns into more business, and also it's an assurance with the pet owner that they're not just leaving it. Because we've had horror stories of mga daycare centers, and then when they came back, the pet they didn't all. So, so uh, again, we're uh, we'll make last pitch for Pooch Park here since you're our guest. So Pooch Park is located at. Uh, Pooch Park is located at uh, Ortigas Home Depot Complex, Julio Vargas Pasi, mm -hmm. uh, and Robinson's Metro East, Marcos Highway Pasi. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one is in Alimon Cubao. It's in, uh, on the ground floor. Um, you can call 910-5036 for any inquiries, or you can visit uh, www.facebook.com slash Park. Okay, 910-5036 for inquiries and it opens at 10 a.m.? Uh, for the malls, it's, it opens at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the Ortigas Home Depot, it opens at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, any message for our listeners when about daycare, leaving your dog, or responsible pet ownership? Anything you'd like to say to them? Um, if you want a pet, Please adopt. <laughs> and, and I didn't coach him to say that, guys. If you want a pet, you know, the first thing you uh, think is, you know, if I can adopt. Because uh, there are lots of uh, dogs, you know, who needs people to take care of them. So, uh, if you want pets, try to adopt. Um, second is uh, just treat or you know, be conscientious enough to really take care of your pet. Don't just buy it and then because it's just cute and then when it grows, you know, just leave it on a, in a cage or something. Uh, because it's life. Uh, it is great responsibility to take care of any pet, may it be dog, cat, hamster, fish. Uh, please take care of them. <laughs> Well said. I told you he was a post volunteer, so that was expected of Mr. Oliver Tan of Bush Park. And thank you so much for guesting on the Animal Chronicles. Thank you very much, uh, Anna, and uh, thank you very much for the listeners of Animal Chronicles. Yeah, um, and then again, a uh, reminder to our Paws Aspen Club members, you have a 10% discount at <laughs> Bush Park, and please do, yeah, oh, please do, um, madami dyan nag-aalangan to bring their Aspens because they're a bit you know, Nehiya, and some of them have been, you know, they've had bad experiences with certain establishments say, saying, no, you know, that that's an aspen, so it has no place here. But you won't get that kind of treatment. No, uh, you treat everybody as equals, come in, you know, uh, be proud of uh, your aspen. All right, so um, we, we are um, now signing off for the Animal Chronicles for tonight. Just a reminder that uh, the Paws Animal Shelter is in need of cephalexane capsules, 500 milligrams and 215 milligrams. Our team is still in Cagayan de Oro and he can also help make animals in need. If you want to help um, with our work in feeding 
the displaced or homeless animals there, as well as trying to rehome the animals in the Iligan uh, City Pound, um, or, or contribute to feeding them, kindly of check our website, www.post.org.ph, and there are account numbers, the Philippine Animal Welfare Society, we have PPI and PMB account numbers, and just to remember that in, in this times of disaster, it's not just humans that are victims of disasters, it's animals too. And um, again, uh, your voice for the animals here on The Voice of the Philippines, DDRJAM. Uh, this is Anna Cabrera signing off for the Ani Animal Chronicles this week. So please listen in to us again next week for another episode of The Animal.